What do you do, buckaroos? How the heck are you? Since it's been unseasonably warm, I thought I'd do, uh, well, heck, I thought I'd do uh, some lighter beers. So I picked up Kona Longboard Lager. I kind of tipped to the dark side a little bit because they are partially owned by the evil empire, as we know. Last I heard, it was 32% change. Um, from what I understand, they're only involved in uh, distribution, but who knows? Bitterness is 20 IBUs, 4.6%. Longboard Island Lager is a smooth, refreshing lager fermented and aged for weeks at cold temperatures to yield this exceptionally smooth flavor. A delicate, slightly spicy hop aroma complements the malty body of this beer. The malts are pale, premium two-row. Uh, the hops are Mount Hood, Hollertau, Sterling, and Millennium. So there you go. I mostly picked this up, in all honesty. Well, one, because I wanted lighter beers. It was, it was about 80 degrees when I picked this up. But it was only $7.49 a six-pack. You know what I'm saying? I mean, the same store had Budweiser $6.98 a six-pack. So I'm looking at a, a, a 50 cent difference to get a real beer, you know? <laughs> as opposed to something filled with rice. I think Coors was about the same price, too. You know, Coors, I mean, why would I buy an MGD or, or a Miller High Life or or any of those macros, uh, when I can get something like this, a quality beer for only 50 cents more, although they are partially owned by the evil empire. I guess my larger point is by quality. Don't settle for crapola when you can get good. <laughs> Anyways, I digress. Aroma is light, um, but it is there. I mean, you, you certainly get some bready malt. Pretty malt on the nose, I should say. Not malt, just malt, singular. You do feel some of the hop. You get just a hint of that spice that they allude to on their website. It is a damn likable beer, though. I mean, it may be unspectacular, but it certainly is likable. It's perfect for warm weather. It's perfect for a picnic. It's perfect for a barbecue. I mean, it, again, it's one of those beers that I would take to a place where it's only, you know, uh, usual suspect drinkers and let them, let them have something like this. They might think, oh, okay, well, that's better. <laughs> has a little body, but it's not heavy. It doesn't finish lazy. It's not sweet. This is what a beer is supposed to taste like. Can be, Tom. <laughs> yeah, be, man. Ah, there you go. No need to run long. I kind of covered it, I think. I am Don Beer Whisperer. Excuse me. Ah. Prolific beer drinker. Purveyor of wisdom. And all around good guy. Hey, y'all, have a great day. Have a great weekend. Do what you gotta do.